part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership, Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 1. Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. There. You think you're special now? I do. There's I your, came up with the first. There's your dick joke. I, I did it first, job. though. Again, with Broad the touching daylight. things. Crowded street. Oh, it gets a lot worse. <laughs> um, one of the biggest things you do in this game when you find a victim is you just rifle through all of their shit. Hmm, sure. <laughs> it's a layaway ticket. C. Galetta. Layaway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made yeah, this is, back, this is back during a time where 5250 took an entire year to pay off. That's true. Put it back. I don't want it. It's covered in blood. <laughs> True. What if it's not even his blood? That's gross. Oh, that is gross. Although it looks like it's his blood. So you can inspect any other part of him, but we already found the thing we need. Right. But if you take a bit too long, your partners kind of get a little angsty. No gang tattoos. <laughs> no signs of a fight. This man let him shoot himself. No skid marks on the sidewalk where he tried to break. <laughs> no bowel movements. This guy was careless. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. Oh, well okay, then. I will stop straddling the dead body. After that one. Shell cases. Except like 32s. That's a very shiny shell casing. Until you actually pick them up. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's so hard to see that they just give you a giant yellow light saying, look here. <laughs> oh. Again, with the stashing the gun right where you do the crime. Are you serious? Yeah, you gotta get some kind of evidence out there. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. All right, looks like it's time to go to Eagleson's. Not just yet. This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. You better take a statement. Don't you people have anything this better to do? This is a secure do? area. You all, sir. I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, uh, I saw a girl running. Backfiring shoot. five times? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Of course. The weird thing with him is that if you talk to the witness in the store before you talk to him, he just disappears. Oh. But your your cop partners here still tell you to talk to him. Oh. Like here, I found this witness. There's nothing but a blank space on the sidewalk. 
Fantastic. Uh, can I can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, Miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. Mr. Gage's what? middle initial. <laughs> Last four of his Close. social. Mother's maiden name. <laughs> can I get a zip code, please? Oh, man, that drawing is terrible. Oof. Cole, do it again. Cole, you should not be a tattoo artist. She's 27, not 53. <laughs> so here we get introduced to the final really big thing to learn how to do, and that's interrogations. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? I back. didn't even know he went to lunch. How did he I find was angry. me? <laughs> I walked in Wait, front. did he leave the store empty just to go find his one employee? I heard shots. Yep. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. Wait, you went out and then turned and saw him fall outside? No, she followed Mr. Gage back here. Oh. Or he followed her, and then he got shot, she turned around, and then saw him on the ground. Right. So they give you prompts here to tell you that, oh, she's lying right now. If you fuck any of these up and choose the wrong one, she will get angry at you, and it will just end. Uh, yeah. Better choose the right one. So as you can tell, she's not... Acting very truthfully. You're lying, Miss no. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? This is one of the cases where the evidence to prove that she's lying doesn't really make any sense, and it's one of the issues I have with this game. Mm -hmm. Is that the difference between a doubt and a lie is whether or not you have evidence, and sometimes the evidence doesn't make any fucking sense. Tell me what yep. happened at the jewelry store. Oh God. Like, I know she I was lying earrings, because she was you could lose paying freedom. something off. You don't stop obstructing yeah, murder that, I don't Mr. understand Kalu. that. Edgar Kalu. Mm, somebody's name dropping. Store. Yep. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start. Mr. Kalu can't at burst each other. as much as Mr. Gage does. Mr. Gage no. tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. I thought he had burst it again. Mr. Gage yep. clutches at his back. That I must have been really bang. awkward. And another, yeah, and I can't another. quite touch my back. In this suit that would knees. not allow for it such movements. Damn fitted suit. <laughs> Which I'm glad that when Cole made her portrait, uh, he picked the exact moment she was about to start crying. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? <laughs> it's, a, it's a good moment. Mr. Kalu looked very angry. Oh, now his name changed? No, Mr. Kalu's the shooter. But she said it Kalu before. No, no, it's now Kalu. <laughs> I don't think you were paying attention. No. Uh, her boss is also Mr. Gage now. Oh, jeez. No, uh, it's all switched. Edger Gage. <laughs> so she's making it very obvious that she is lying to some degree by her facial movements. There are some characters that fidget around so fucking much that you can't tell which one you're supposed to go with. Oh, yes. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Whoa. Yeah, so that's where this case is going. <laughs> so just Jews. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many. And they were so loud. Well, technically that's the truth. There were a lot. You can see she's still, like, on the verge of crying, so she's not, like... Some of the actors in this game will just go completely deadpan when they're telling the truth, and it, it just, like, takes you out of the whole thing. So yeah. Even minor details can become important later on. 
Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly. Close but I thought them. it was a car backfiring. Five. <laughs> so I turned around, and there were no cars. Thank you for your help, ma'am. <laughs> well, yeah, there were cars, but none of them backfired. We'll need you to right, they were all nice cars. Does they were front firing. My... my. Never mind. Front firing. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Well, my earlier car was front firing. It was very <laughs> on front fire. Yes, it was definitely front fire. So because we've done everything correctly so yeah, far, we won't one. actually go visit the, the uh, gun the store because we don't need to. Oh, okay. Store but we might just for the fun of it. I think we should. We're not. Oh. It's a waste of time. Yeah. the perimeter. Yeah, hold back the three people that are trying to look at a dead body. <laughs> so, when you get into a car, you can just sort of choose a location whenever. Um, you can actually do it before you get into the car and just hold Y, and then your partner will drive you there. Oh. Uh-oh. What? I drove onto the crime scene. I was bad. Ooh. <laughs> now I was just trying to show that there are multiple ways to fail this case, and that is the first of many. <laughs> to contaminate the crime scene. Even though you already have by touching everything. Uh-huh. So what I was trying to say before is that you can make your partner drive when you're trying to get five stars on a case, because he won't run stuff over like I do. Ah. Makes sense. But I will say for the for the sake of doing all of these cases, I'll do all of the interrogations correctly. And oh, that's it. Oh. Okay, good. Good to know. I hope they didn't get our number, Phelps. I hope so too. I'm swerving too much. There's no way they could. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're gonna knock off the license plate. And then they'll never get it. Wait, That's... no, then they will get it. Yeah, because they'll be able to pick it up. Officer! Can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! I can't run. Because of the diabetes. I'm a fat middle-aged man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, a fatter middle-aged man. Mm -hmm. Kalu! Get back here! So, Cole automatically pulls his gun out right there. Oh. But... You shouldn't do that. You're not allowed to shoot. <laughs> So what was starting to happen there is something that I'll do in a later case. It's where you can point your gun at them for long enough, and then they just give up. Oh, okay, good. But I wondered, hey, they let you take your gun out. Can you shoot a civilian? <laughs> and the answer is no. Oh. And the answer is yes. Oh. <laughs> if you move quickly enough, the game can't recognize that you're about to shoot someone. <laughs> and I shot her in the elbow, okay? She'll be fine. Yeah, but you could have shattered the elbow. That's pretty bad. Oh no, I definitely shattered that. I might like <laughs> I probably carry like hollow points or something. Too late, Kalu. So, this is one of the chases where it doesn't matter how slowly you go. Okay. In fact, we have gone so slowly that our partner is about to catch up. Oh. In fact, let's wait for him. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at him run. Yeah, he goes he goes crazy. Don't make it worse, Kalu. So you can actually catch up to Kalu and uh, just tackle him, or you can run all the way through here and then just let him get caught. Oh, okay, good. Oh. So yep, all this is scripted. Okay. Including four people now having terrible whiplash. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty bad crash. Nobody's dead. Well, that's good. That car is on fire. 
I've just got to check to make sure that all the civilians are okay. Except for the one in the red car. Fuck him. <laughs> this is me trying to get into the car, and the game is not allowing that. Oh. <laughs> Why not? Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Well, this is a much nicer portrait. Mm -hmm. He's, he, did, he was much calmer. His suit <laughs> seems a little bit too big for his head. Followed every it gauge. does. And the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Yeah, I only shot him. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> I only shot him five times. Yeah, that's I it. I counted them. It was one, then another, then three very quickly. <laughs> Look at him smirk. So we have intuition points that we gain by leveling up, but I won't be using any of those, and leveling up is so weird in this game that when I go back and replay stuff, I'll level up even more, so it's never going to be consistent. Oh, good. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? Yeah, you think a witness is court-worthy? What is this, America? Leave me alone! I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you know. Well, of course he does. The lying, Kalu. I think you lent Gage money, and he owed you payment. I don't know what you're talking about. So, so far we've seen interrogations go perfectly well. So, let's see what happens if you fuck one up. Yes. I'm done with you. Go flap your gum somewhere else. I want my lawyer. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession!
Gage hated so what happens is the interrogation no, just starts over from square one. So mm. let's go back to where we fucked up. Left All right. Leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there now cover your ears. There's going to be a lot of Jewish swear words. Oh. You and that stup Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal. I By the way, momser is maybe the funniest that. word for bastard. For oh. <laughs> it sounds pretty funny. I'm yeah. The other words he used were shtup means fuck and putt snatcher is cocksucker. Right <laughs> so, he was very colorful in that conversation. Yes, he was. May God have mercy on you, sir. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Yes, I am perfect. I did not kill a single person. I didn't damage any public property. We are ready to be a detective. <laughs> you are set. And you only just passed. Well, there's no, like, pass plus plus. We're not, like, a <laughs> super cop. I mean, we fucked up the interrogation once. <laughs> That's true. But coming up next, we have our real first actual crime as a traffic cop. Oh, let's hope it's not too bad. It goes about as well as you'd expect. <laughs> 